Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Cody Kirpinen here back with the Affiliate Marketing for Beginners case study and today we are going to be covering part 7 and that is creating your ads, doing some spying and then setting up your tracking link. And then we're going to finish it out with adding a few callout extensions in the campaign. So in the previous video, uh, part 6, we went over adding in keywords and creating ad groups for the campaign. Um, that was part 2 of the 4 steps of creating a campaign. So now we are on the third step of the Bing Ads creation process and we are going to start out by doing a little bit of manual spying. So this, uh, so this is something I do before I create any Bing Ads campaign is just type in a phrase and see what other people are doing. The ads that are at the very top of the search results, you know that they're paying more so they're probably getting like a good click through rate. It's probably a proven ad. Um, so that's something to keep in mind when you're doing your spying. So I went over to Bing and I typed in dog training videos because that is going to be one of the keywords that we are going to be fighting to try to get our ads to show up here. And right away what I see is uh, dog training videos, simple dog training hack uh, 2020. So this is brain training for dogs and that is the URL of the affiliate link, brain training for dogs. So that tells me that um, this is a ClickBank affiliate who's um, showing up first in the search results. And then the next one is uh, Brain Training for Dogs 2, so that's another affiliate. Then the th uh, third position ad is Dog Training Books, 30% off and free shipping, uh, Chewy.com. So that's not an affiliate, but it's Chewy and that's, we can get good ideas from them. So that's how easy it is just to do uh, manual spying, see what's working. Um, another thing I like to do is just come to the sales page where we're sending the visitors um, and get ideas from the sales page to use in our ad because if we have like this headline in our description of the ad that just it really helps with the the relevancy of everything. So those are two ways that I kind of come up with my ad copy. Um, so that's Okay, I'm going to cross that out. So that's how easy it is to spy. Don't overcomplicate it. Just type in type in search terms that you're going to be bidding on and see what's working. So that's spying. Now we'll get into creating the ad. So I'm just going to click on create ad. And the first thing that we got to do is put the final URL in. And as you recall, here's our tracking link. So I'm going to just go to this tracking link. And then this is going to be the final URL. I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm just going to paste it in here. All right, now that we have the final URL set up, we can go into our title part one, two, and three. So I'm just going to do a little browsing and I'll be back and tell you what I came up with. Okay, we are back and now um, I'll kind of just explain how I came up with this ad. Um, brain training for dogs, a very obvious uh, title part one, simple dog training hack. Um, I kind of got this from this ad right here, I really think this is a well-written ad. I think this might have been one of my advanced Bing Ads training member students. Um, sorry if this is your guys' ad, by the way, because I do teach to use parentheses and then the year because that increases click-through rate. So there's a good chance that this is one of my um, course students who made this ad. That's kind of funny. Um, anyways, uh, what was I doing? And then for the description, I just got ideas from the actual sales page because the thing you got to realize about these ClickBank sales pages is that they hire professional copywriters to write the best headlines and stuff for their website. So they spent a lot of money to get this headline right. So you know that this stuff works. So I like to just get ideas from that. And like I mentioned earlier, earlier it increases the relevancy to see um, text in the description, then go to the sales page and see the same type of text. So that's all good there. Um, before we continue, now we have to, um, so we just finished one of the ad creations, now we have to do the tracking link. Alright, now I'm going to come over and grab the tracking link and I'm going to just paste it in a Word doc or a notepad. So we need to add some query strings, I mean uh, parameters to the end of that tracking link and I will show you how you can do that. So this list of um, parameters was in the click magic knowledge base form and it's pretty simple to do they give you the curly brackets and what you need to do to track what type of parameter so 
to track what keyword resulted in a sale or an order form impression, all you gotta do is squiggly bracket keyword and the squiggly bracket. So we are going to choose this one. We're gonna do keyword. We are going to do query string. We are going to track ad group. And then we're gonna track device. And then we are going to track network. So those are the five that I usually do when I'm creating my campaigns. And it'll look like this and network. So it'll look like this. The final tracking link will look like this. So we got device, query string, keyword, ad group, and network all separated by a slash. So that is how you set it up. Now I will just come over here and copy it and come paste it in the tracking template. All right, so we got that all set up and now I can save. And one quick little tip that you can do is just copy the ad and then for your second one, instead of starting all the way over, you can just have that template of the first one to just keep doing it. And for this one, I'm gonna test like the same exact ad, but I'm going to capitalize every word so I can like show you in real time um, which one of these ads uh, has a better click-through rate and et cetera, because some campaigns work better when you have every word capitalized and then some just work better when you have them written out normally. So I'm gonna do a live test for you guys and that'll be interesting to come back and see which of these ads um, perform better. Alrighty. So now we got that and now I'm gonna copy add to all other ad groups so I can have the same template for the others. So I'm gonna do that and then that one more time. And then for this, I might just try out some different types. Like maybe I will add parentheses, see if that works, and then keep everything um, keep everything the same and just see if the parentheses um, increase the click-through rate. And you can create anywhere from two to four ads. Um, that's where I re recommend actually like two to five, anywhere in there is good per ad group. You know, just test out different headlines, different call to actions at the end. You can change up the ad text etc there's no limit to what you can do try different verbiage i might remove one of these do three there um save maybe i'll just do three ads for each ad group um for this example copy ad so i just got um uh, i got like nine varieties of keyword or uh, ads and i think these will perform very well so now that we are done creating the ads and we have our uh, tracking link set up and everything, now we can go into callout extensions. And this is an important part of creating Bing ads campaigns. Uh, so are site link extensions, that's more advanced, but um, I'm not gonna cover that in this video. Just keep things short. Action extension, I made a video on this on one of my YouTube videos. You can watch that if you wanna try that out. You got all these different types of extensions, and uh, I'm going to show you how to create callout extensions. Basically, you just click on add new callout extension, and then you just write out some callout text. You know, just kind of outline what this offer does, uh, dog training videos. You can come look to uh, get ideas for the callout extensions. Professional dog trainer from a pro dog trainer. professional teacher start now claim your discount so these are just five off the top of my head and you got to remember um, I always forget about this is to click save right there and then oops where did it go already oh, right so you got to click save and then when it's like this that's when you know you're good to go so that is it for um, part seven of the affiliate marketing for beginners case study and that is how to and we covered how to spy and get ideas from other people that are running ads for similar search terms just by simply typing in a search term into bing that's called manual spying we covered that uh, we covered creating the ad getting ideas from spying and then looking at the sales page to have that uh, relevancy between the ad and the landing page um, then we talked about the tracking link and how we added five parameters that we are going to be tracking. And then lastly, we just covered callout extension. So that was part seven 
Um, part eight, we're going to finish up this Bing Ads campaign, and then um, once we do that, it'll be submitted into review. Then I'm going to let it run for the weekend and analyze the stats. So I will see you in the next video, which is part eight, budget and bids, and it's going to wrap up the Bing Ads campaign. Um, lastly, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, what are you doing? Come on, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I will see you in part eight of the affiliate marketing for beginners case study. Peace.